But it's the exact same bad. Yeah, she was bad when she was like three weeks old. I don't know if I've made this clear or not on the vlog, but Francine, our daughter, is bad. She's like manipulative and smart and just like, we'll do whatever it takes to get ice cream. I have a babysitter this morning and we have we're having a date. So far it's going pretty well. Did they argue with you? No, but I couldn't understand a word she was saying. Oh this is our second lunch. Before we just had fruit, this is our first lunch. How's the schmegel? Good? Oh my god, how old is she there? Oh my god, look at her! Candace, as a rule, doesn't come to the studio because she finds it too stressful, so I let her dig into the Francine archives. I keep a pretty tight archive of cute pictures and videos of friends. Oh my god, <laughs> look at that face! Anyway, she's digging deep. I'm getting some needed gear. I like broke all my gear in the last week, I don't know why. God, remember those swings? Gives me nightmares. Where are we flying to? Cape Town. We flew to Cape Town when she was that little? Yeah, and I flew back by myself, remember? <laughs> Look at the face. Ugh, I can't believe you're gonna watch that. Are you sure you want to? Yeah. There's no unwatching it. When Candace was getting having the baby, they like filmed I had my GoPro and I was like, I don't want to film the gross stuff. And the doctor is like a cowboy in Texas, took the camera and filmed the gross stuff. I've never looked at it. She's looking at it. I'm going to hide in here. Is that it? I, I like broke my, um, I broke my microphone when I was putting my camera in my backpack. This is one of the most common problems. And if you know a way to fix this, let me know. But where the microphone jack goes into the camera, it sticks out like this. When I put it in my bag or anything, it always breaks. That's why the sound is so often messed up in my videos. Luckily, uh, I keep a pretty solid inventory of equipment here in the office to suit my every... Looks like there's some new stuff here. Bunch of new equipment arrived when I wasn't here. I haven't gotten a chance to play with it yet. I've been wanting this for a while. Okay, I'm ready. This is a GoPro selfie stick. It's filming me right now. Push the button. It's filming over there. Me over there. Me over there. Me over there. Amazing. A company called Spivo makes these. Thank you, Spivo, for sending them over. This is pretty next level. Image stabilizer for cell phone and GoPro. I can't wait to use this. Are you watching that nasty stuff? Are you crying? Regarding microphones, uh, I typically use one of two microphones. I like this. I like this Rode microphone a lot. Solid microphone. Lately, I've also been using these Shure microphones. They're great. Slightly different sound profile, but just as good of a camera. More recently, Sennheiser came out with this microphone. I haven't used it yet, but Sennheiser makes great products and I'm really looking forward to this. Also, I put one of these dead cats on this and it really kills any and all wind. It's this fuzzy thing that gives me such clean sound. Like when I'm riding my skateboard in the wind, talking to camera and it still sounds good, that's because of this furry thing. Honey, we gotta go. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun watching the archives? Yeah, that was good. Dude, I didn't know you were back. I'm back. 
I didn't know you were back. When did you get back? Yesterday. I can't believe we didn't see each other in Venice. I know. When we were in Venice on our vacation, Oscar was also in Venice, and he was literally 200 feet from us, and we weren't able to connect. All right, I gotta go, man. All right. See you soon. That pretty much concludes our um, afternoon date. We have to head back down to relieve the babysitter. In conclusion, we went to lunch and then we went to lunch and then we walked to my office and Candace watched old baby videos and now we take a taxi cab home. And I got to sit by the water and just do nothing except stare into space. What was the best part of the day? Hanging out with you. You are so foolish. Baby's going down for a nap. I have to pack. I hate packing because I'm terrible at packing. Gotta, 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 gotta bring my tuxedo here. Trouble is, don't know that I actually have a tuxedo that's ready to. Can I wear this? This is, oh, this is fine, right? Yeah, that's a tuxedo. See, I always have trouble prioritizing what to bring. Got my tuxedo? and my drone. What else? Typically I try not to be cagey about where I'm going or what I'm doing, but I had to promise not to reveal the details of this trip until Monday night at 8 p.m. So I can't, I think I can share where I'm going, but I can't share why I'm going there. I really need it, I'll reveal all the details soon, really soon, I just need like, you know, a day for you to bear with me here. In the drawer to the left of the silverware. I got it, right here. No big deal. In other mildly exciting news, I'm flying Virgin Atlantic. Sorry, never flown Virgin Atlantic before. It's kind of the line here at Virgin is like a mile long, so I'm gonna sew up this boosted board bag while I wait. I bought this bag aftermarket. Like it wasn't made by Boosted. It's made by some. I don't know. It was expensive though. And it's completely falling apart. Look at this. And the strap ripped off, and the buckles broke, and I had to put these carabiners on because the plastic ones broke. Broke over here. I'm trying to stitch this back together here. Really have nothing but disdain for low quality products. If you know of a high quality boosted board bag, let me know. And I don't want a gun bag or like a pool cue bag. It has to be made just for boosted board, otherwise, it's a nuisance. en route to the Virgin Lounge, which I've never been to, but Candace speaks of highly. So expect a comprehensive review of this lounge. Ready for a tour? Dining room, menu. Couches, magazines, computers, other stranger couches. Kind of like a chill lounge area. What appears to be a hair salon. Futuristic bar, shower, red pool table, huge TV, luggage storage facility. That's my boosted board. Color changing hallway. Toilet. All in all, seems like a really nice lounge. Everybody in here is super friendly, not too crowded, and the food's delicious.
a good man. I really, I really love your stuff. It's, he's, the guy's good. Thanks okay. a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving without me. It was a far walk. We make a lot of friends on this airline. Uh, no, yeah, I'll take a paper. Thank you very much. Shameless. Now, I didn't bring my regular uh, sweatpants, pajamas. Candace told me they'd give me a pair, and they did. Nice. Okay, these are pretty cozy. Like in the first part of this episode, I complained about microphones and I go to my studio and I get a new microphone. And then spontaneously, the shot when I go into the closet, the sound gets totally fucked out of nowhere. And that's why, like, it sounds like this, like it's really loud. That's called peaking. Like, it's at the top. I don't know why it does that. I change no settings. It, like, does that on its own. This is why I always smash my cameras. I'm so frustrated when stuff like this. Sorry, I'm sorry about the, the low sound quality for the second half of today's episode. Thanks for hanging in there.